In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download UMD disk onto your PSP and how you can install ISOs onto your PSP as well. But I do not recommend that you do this method because downloading UMD's ISOs are illegal and you can get in trouble. So I am not I am not responsible if you get in trouble for downloading ISO files onto your PSP and ripping the USB UMD disks onto your computer and onto your PSP. I am not responsible if you rip UMDs onto your PSP. Now what you want to do is you want to head over to your computer and make sure that your computer has this this software you want to install. Now what you want to do is you want to head over to the internet and search this up on your computer. You want to search for PSP filer on the computer and it will bring you with this website right here. The first website that pops up should be this one. Now you want to scroll down to the version that you want to install for the PSP filer. Now you see, you want to install either from Mediafire or you want to download it from Wulolu, which is this website right here. I'm going to do Mediafire, download it. Then you want to download then it's going to be asking you if you want to save it, click save. Then it's going to be downloading the file on your computer. Now once it's done, when now once it's done, you want to extract it. Extract it and I'm going to be extracting it to the desktop. Open up the release folder, click on game. Then open up filer. And then you want to drag the filer application into your desktop or wherever you want to save it to. Now, what I'm going to be showing you first is I'm going to be showing you the ISO file that you can install on your PSP. I'm going to be connecting the PSP into the charger or you can connect you can connect the PSP via the USB cable or a SD card reader from your PSP's SD card that's connected to your PSP. I'm going to insert the PSP with the USB cable and then the PSP should recognize that it's connected to the USB. You see it's connected automatically and now what you want to do is you want to head over to where it says ISOs on your PSP and your PSP is going to be saying ISOs. Open this ISO folder. You do not need to worry about this video folder. You can delete it, but I'm going to delete it. Yes, you do not need that file. Now what you want to do is you can install any ISO you want on your PSP. I'm going to be installing Gran Turismo right here. I'm going to be installing Gran Turismo. And depending on your memory that you have on your PSP, this can take a while to to install the ISO file onto your PSP. So just let it install and it will take about one gigabyte to install your PSP file ISO onto your PSP. I'm gonna be showing you in the next video how you can make the PSP ISO file smaller on your PSP so that you can save some memory on your PSP. Now, just let this PSP ISO file copy onto your PSP. Now, you see that Gran Turismo is installing your PSP. Now what you want to do is you want to disconnect your PSP from the USB cable or from the memory stick and insert the memory stick into your PSP again. Now you want to head over to the game file. You see memory stick and then you're going to be seeing Gran Turismo is installed on your PSP right there you see. Gran Turismo is installed on your PSP and you can play Gran Turismo as well. You see Gran Turismo is starting up on your PSP now. Now what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you how you can install ISOs from the UMD disk on your PSP. What you need to do is click the PS button then click you want to cancel or quit this game click yes. And then what you need to do is reconnect either the memory card or the PSP USB into the PSP. I'm going to reconnect the PSP with the USB. Now the USB is connected to the computer. And what you need to do is you need to head over to PSP. Game. And then you want to drop in the PSP filer.
and then you press P it's going to be able to read your UMD disk to download the ISO file now what you need to do is you want to head over to your PSP again and you're no, you no longer need to use your computer now what you want to do is turn on your PSP if it's off and now the game we're going to be installing is we're going to be installing this PES 2012 game. I'm going to be installing this game into the PSP. You see, I do not have the game installed on the PSP. There's no game installed for the PS, PES 2012. You see, there's no game installed. What you need to do is you will need to load PS Filer onto the PSP. Load it up. And then it's going to be loading. And then when the menu comes up, you want to insert your UMD into the PSP. Insert the UMD into the PSP now. And then your PSP is going to be reading the UMD disk. Then you see this menu. What you need to do is click on the triangle. Then it's going to be bringing you this menu. Then click the right trigger. Click the right trigger. Then it's going to be bringing you to this menu. Then you want to click on start or you can change the file name but you do not need to. This is only so that you can see it when you install more games onto your PSP from your computer. That's the only reason you want to change your name so that you can recognize what it looks like when you connect it to your PSP on the computer. But you do not need to change this if you do not want to because you will look the name PES 2012 is going to be named like that when you want to see it on your PSP. So click on the start. Then it's going to be ripping the UMD disk. So I'll be back when the ripping is done on the PSP. Now that the ripping is done on your PSP, you see it says ripping completed. X to resume. But before I do that, I'm going to be removing the game so you know that the game is installed from the ISO file on the PSP. Now, what you want to do is press X to resume. It says then it brings you back to this menu. Right here, it brings you back to this menu. So what you need to do is press the PS button. Then it says, do you want to quit the game? Click yes. Then it might restart your PSP, so just let it restart. Now you see, the ISO is installed from the UMD disk on your PSP. So that's how you can install UMD ISO files from your computer. You can also install ISOs from the internet using the first method that I showed you. But I am not responsible if you get caught caught installing UMDs because installing UMDs ISOs are illegal. So I am not responsible if you get in trouble. So that's it for this video guys on how you can install UMD ISOs from the internet and how to rip them from the UMDs. So please like, comment and subscribe for more how to videos like these ones.